Welcome back to NGTV Plays Fallout 4, the Jason Voorhees edition featuring myself, Spencer, my co-host Matt. This time, we are going to be uh, going on a little trip back to the Trinity Tower area to get ourselves uh, the Grognak equipment. Did you put a thing on there? I did, but you might as well just fast travel to Trinity Tower. It's, it's like diagonally across the street. Hubris Comics is where we gotta go. This is actually going to be pretty short, so i got to come up with something else that we need to do afterwards. Do you want to well, go after I some thought, magazines? or? Well, no, let's do the bobbleheads first. Do you want to go after strength? No. Endurance? Sneak. No. Well, yeah, sneak. Sneak. I don't want to do any of the primary Once until we get them up to 10, yeah. right? Yeah. Just talked about this. Jesus. I want to fight you. Okay, so sneak is in the Dunwich Borer's Quarry. Uh, oh shit that's supposed to be pretty crazy like pretty cool like area of the game gotta open up a little guide to show me how to get there because it's underground mm -hmm. show me where you're at on the map you fucking hoe All right, did you just put it on the tower? Because the tower is right there. Yeah, I, I couldn't put it any closer. Like I said, I couldn't zoom in on the map. So, oh. well, it's across this... Look at your map. Base. Okay. Base towards that corner. Right right there, basically. No, over, over, down. Left. Like right there. Like right here? Yeah, like right there. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> like I said, might as well just... It's It's like right there. Oh my god, this is so painful. It's a painful, painful. This guy showed it on the map, but then he like didn't like show you what was around it. So then I have to like really look at the map to see what all dark and shit. So just look at my own map. What a douche. Find it? No. Well, look up at the signs. Is it is that sign for uh Hubris Comics? Hubris. I, I found ah, here it is. There it is. Right now, I'm just looking for where the Dunwich place is so I can tell us where to go. After, of course, Matt picks this up real quick here. Damn. Check that ghoul out. Oh, purified. Jesus. He's fucking just wading through them. These guys are nothing. What? It's actually not on my map here. One second. Uh oh. Are there any magazines in here? Or comic books? Probably. Should I look? Sure, since we're already here. Nope, oh, found one. Unstoppables. Permanently gain 1% chance of avoiding all damage from an attack. Dig. That's good. Uh, this is the display case with the. Oh, the uh. The axe in it. You can't break it. 
No, you can't break it. I need to have advanced lockpicking. Oh my god. Oh, is it just advanced? It's not that bad. Still can't get into it. Well, no, but I mean, you only have to put like one point in lockpicking to get it. You know? Instead of having to put two, that would suck. I'm just checking to see if there's any other ones there. Prob it's probably just that one. Yeah. I, yeah, I usually only find like one in an area. So crazy that that that, that this place is called Dunwich Borers because uh, Dunwich is a uh, Lovecraftian uh, thing. Yeah, Lovecraftian yeah, thing. Yeah, well, it's kind of based off that. Give me that. That's fan. Oh, there's the key. Don't worry. It's inside the thing, actually, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they're just fighting about the thing. Marker's in the new spot. Good. Oh, a silver shroud po photo. On the silver shroud. So we're supposed to go deep underground into the Dunwich Borer's Quarry until you reach the foggy area. Find a post terminal with the number 4 next to it, and it will be on a small table next to that. Oh, that's cool. Like, it opens it up, like, inside your thing. That's neat and nifty. Oh, no, I was thinking that the terminal, like, the actual computer did that. Yeah. I looked down and looked back up again. There was some text on the screen. I'm like, oh, that's cool. No. Get owned. That guy's like almost like invisible looking. It's cool. Give me that watch. Give me that watch. Rognark. Yeah. Can't wait to wear that. And look ridiculous, but awesome. Should I put it on right now? Oh, right here. No, you can't put it on right now because I have the uh the suit on. Yeah. Stupid. Found another magazine though. Big. What did that one give you? Five percent to energy weapons. Yeah. Oh, a pompadour. Tuxedo. Looking flashy. I gotta take a uh, so. Uh, silver shroud outfit too. Yeah, I don't know where that is. It's on. It's on the the mannequin, on the front. 
Uh, you also get the prop gun back here, don't you? Yeah. Don't say shit, Jason. So, I still wish you could do something with the sound there, like, I don't know, play some other stuff. The glowing one. Oh, the subway token. I don't need that shit. I need a subway think I'm going to pay for the subway? <laughs> Purchase it with blood. Gold plated what? Oh, flip letter. Kind of got a table knife. We get for taking a, bringing a table knife to a machete fight. Hmm. Wish we had advanced lockpick, but we don't. I guess we're done. Yep. Wish there was something you could take that would like. Temporarily up your shit. What do you mean? Oh, you're... Like uh, you're lockpicking or something like that? Yeah, that'd be cool. Or like a, a disposable, like, key. Or some, something to force the lock with, you know? Some kind of disposable item that you can have. But then people would just, like... Well, I mean, like, I guess... Uh, I was about to say, oh, people would just... It's it's an area map, by the way. No, I'm looking to see if I need to fast travel anywhere else with it's, it. Up. Up, yeah. Um, I, I was going to say, oh, well, then people would just drop a bunch of that item and then just use that. I'm like, well, if they're going to cheat, then they're going to cheat to get themselves the lockpick anyways. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that guy looks cool. Take that gun away. Give him a machete. <laughs> there you go. Why is there, like, why are they not wearing shirts? Like, that's got a chafe underneath the armpit right there. You see that? I think this dude needs shirts, dude. It's he's gonna chafe. You better put a bunch of baby powder on. Nothing. Oh, I remember these people. You can try to gain entrance. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering. Suit yourself. Damn it! All we can do is say no. We can't even get inside. I need that wonder glue. That wonder glue is mine. Steal that pencil. Fuck that. Now I have the key. Oh my god. Kill everyone. Oh, this is perfect. On a stand's about to be honestly dead. Oh ho ho. Is that guy's name just Settler? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're killing a settlement. That doesn't know how to protect shit. Did you see it bounce off my yeah, shit? Yeah, that was cool. Ted is dead. Blocked out their fucking arm. Oh, fuck, bitch. Ran away so I couldn't bats you. I destroy that machine up there. The thing. Oh, shit. I guess you can't. 
There it is. I'm glad it hasn't turned around to shoot you yet. It's not kind of nice. Who holds a melon on them? Where'd that fucking radio at? Oh, now it's pissed. Oh, maybe it was shooting at something else. Hey, nice. Turn up the thing, I can't hear. Yeah, it's definitely a radio. God damn it. Ain't nobody alive for this shit anymore game. Needs to be a mod where when people when the owners die. I think it was a mod for a uh, Iron Man follow up for that probably wasn't there. Nah, pretty like, sure. I'll assume. Yes, there was. Deezer's lemonade. First, I saw D's and just. <laughs> Oh, is it the radio over here? Not a radio. What was it? I mean, it's a fucking toolbox. No, I wasn't saying that. I was saying, is the radio over here? Enamel bucket. Okay, everyone pitch in your teeth. We're going to make something. We need a bucket. Got Jacob's password for, you know, something. Whatever it is that we were needing to have a password for. A reminder, Covenant is a safe place. Whatever bad happened to you in the past won't happen here, but we've all got a job to do. We need word of mouth to spread. So eventually, we'll get killed by Jason Voorhees. Ain't life swell. These walls look fucking good. What do you mean? These walls look good. Look at them. These are good fucking walls. The the outside, but apparently the houses have just haven't been able to. Well, I guess I guess this house isn't that bad. I got his password, but for what? The probably the the, the advanced terminal inside the office. Your left. I'm mean right. They're right behind you. Where you, where you going? I'm just looking around, dude. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure you weren't like. Trying to look for what I was I was having you look for. Map to the compound. Uh, map to compound. Jesus. That's a public terminal. I need a fucking welcome shit. The plate's good for shit? Uh, I think ceramic. I gotta get that desk fan. Fucking radio. Fucking picked up everything around the radio. God, turn it off! We're gonna get content ID just for this episode. Yep. Fucking hell. That, that radio knows how to, how to be. It's like everything that I want. <laughs> you had to pick up all that shit off the top of the table, I guess. Oh, Jacob's password. You see that? Uh, I saw it. Okay, I'm just making sure you saw it, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm. Mr. Fitzgerald treats our mission as seriously as I do. If only he could do something about his wife. Vinny. Oh, mentioned the synths as undesirables. Altercation with M. Bell. Frequent negative comments about other personnel and other places in the Commonwealth, specifically Diamond City. Severe reprimand for warning one traitor about the Institute and their ways. If Mrs. Fitz Fitzgerald was not extremely effective in her role, I'd, I'd request she be reassigned to the compound. But she's married to Mr. Fitzgerald, so her permanent posting here is required. 
Nothing to be done about, but frequent reinforcement of our missions and its parameters. Sometimes I feel she cares more about running her store than our goals. Oh, I'm glad she's dead. Oh, this is Ted. Uh, possession of contraband on three separate occasions. General antisocial behavior has made visitors uncomfortable. Huntsley's new to Covenant, uh, Covenant and given his past, it's understandable that he's jumpy. Hopefully over time the community can help him feel safe. If he keeps making visitors feel nervous, though, he may need to be re reassigned. On the bright side, his reclusiveness makes him ideal for running messages to the compound. When the traders are in town, his absence is rarely noticed. Visitors comment on her nervousness and jumpiness. She is very compassionate. Could be that? Could that be a problem? After bringing up my concerns to her, Mrs. Uh, Ms. McGovern has recently come around. Part of our job is to act Has natural. really come around. What the hell's wrong with you? Take a second. Read. What did I say? You said recently. Oh, my bad. And if anything, she, d she overdoes it. I really hope she's truly recovering instead of putting on an act, even if it is an act. She's un utterly indispensable to our operation. None. No concerns. I have no specific concerns about Dr. Montgomery. Looking at her now, you'd have no idea of what she's been through. The only niggling detail is that she keeps to herself and hasn't integrated into the community. But I suspect she resents being transferred here and would prefer to be working on the core mission. But before she was here, our visitor's number one complaint was the lack of medical services. So we need to we need at least one doctor here, and unfortunately, for her, she's the only one qualified that has a suitable temperament. Swanson. Swanson keeps to himself. He works directly for the compound in administering the test, and as such, I have no idea who he was or how to help him. He keeps himself strictly apart from the community, whether that's his orders or temperament, who's to say? Oh shit, there's more. Mr. Huntley has report has aborted <laughs> five compound runs due to a fisherman, name unknown, who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond. Mr. Huntley reports his new favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. The Stockton Retrieval Team has almost was almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend. It's a draft. Interesting. I have a feeling that there's uh, probably a storyline with that. Probably. What is that? What are those? Just a book. Oh, I know you can take that umbrella and that umbrella stand. Oh, can you take the American flag? I don't think you can. You moved over no. it multiple times. That is dumb. What if I wanted to be patriotic? What's inside the uh, the mail boxes? Nothing. Where is this bitch's store at? Her store? Her store was, I think, the building to your left. This one? No, that was just a settler's house. No, it was a store. This is where the doctor the, was. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, look at all that pre-war money. Can you do anything with the pre-war pre money in this? Didn't I get her store key? Yeah. Well, it's not letting me open it. Well, no, it probably doesn't have a key. It's a fucking safe. It's what the store keys are for. I think the store key opened up the store, which sucks. We can check everyone's bodies real quick just to be sure. Who's that guy in the corner? That was an old guy. Mm. I was just making sure we didn't miss something off of his body. Nobody was in there. Got a nice little crop going on over here. That's nice. Hmm, no workshop. It's cool that this can be one of the settlements. Oh, mechanic jumpsuit might be perfect for uh, the look, you know. Although he's more he's more perfect for Halloween than he is for 
Yeah, it's definitely more Halloween. I think it's funny that the defense turrets did nothing to defend them. I just tossed out a monitor. Or TV. Alright, so we're heading towards... Well, I got, actually, we can play in the episode here. Just, oh, nice. yeah. Alright, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, like button. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Next time, we're going to Dunwich Boars. See, see you guys next time. Peace.